Oh, hi. What's up, everybody? My name's Russ. I know you already know, but with rwgresearch.com. So check it out. I want to show you a really, a really interesting item here. So I, uh, I got these AA, I'm sorry, these are AAA rechargeable lithium ion batteries for a, uh, actually a pair of uh, wireless microphones that I wanted to use. And uh, they take AAA and I thought, Okay, let's find some rechargeable AAA, but I want to use lithium ion. These are lithium ion 1.5 volt, okay, rechargeable batteries. They say they are 1100 milliwatt hours, but I'm not actually going to check that. I'm going to check something totally different. This is a really interesting item, so let's get a little bit better view. Okay, first things first. Let's look at what we've got here. So these are the batteries. Um, very interesting, uh, they're 1.5 volt, 1100 milliwatt hours. Back has some descriptions on here. So this is in Chinese or Japanese or some other language. And very interestingly here it's got 4.2 volt, I can't read this, I don't know what it is. Here it's got the, um, the milliwatt hours at 1.5 volt and the amp hours at 3.7 volt. Here it's got 1.5 slash 3.7 volt, AAA or PH7, I presume that's the other type of uh, size this is, I'm not sure. But uh, I found that very interesting. I was like, what? 3.7, but they're 1.5. So now I was a little confused. So here's the charger. And if we can get it to focus, the charger actually says, okay, USB 5 volt, 500 milliamps input, 4.2 volt, 250 milliamp times four output. What? And even on the back, okay, it's got the same same sort of thing here, exact same stuff. I thought, well, that's interesting. And then I got to look in here and I'm like, what kind of plug is, I mean, I've never seen one that looked like that. I was like, this is really getting interesting. USB, that works for me. So let's open these guys up and actually, uh, if I can get them out. I already opened them once and checked them out and looked them over. So this case is pretty cool actually because uh, these batteries are sitting in here this way but there's actually notches for the other directions and that has to do with uh, AA or AAA depending on what you're putting in there. It's pretty cool. So here they are. Get you a close-up of, uh, of the battery itself. It's going to be hopefully you'll be able to read that. I can't even pronounce that name. I'm not even going to try. But they are uh, rechargeable lithium ion batteries. So um, I originally uh, couldn't quite figure this out. Then I started looking after doing some testing. So let's get the meter out and actually test what voltage these guys are. I just charged these so they should be fully charged. You can read that all right. So let's hold one of these guys out here and it's on DC. Well, that one's rolling off the table. So from this point to this point, yes indeed, look at that, 1.5 volt exactly. All right, that's interesting. So let's check the charger and let's see what's coming out of it. All right, for purposes of demonstration, I've got a battery backup unit here and a USB 5 volt output. So let's go ahead and plug this guy in. And, uh, oh, let's turn it on, there we go. Okay, it's hard to see, but there's little, there's little red flashing lights going on, you see them? They are hard to see, but they are there. Right there, oh, it looks like my battery backup keeps going off because it's not showing any power output, but they are flashing. Okay, so, I tried to put one of these in from, from uh, the top down and I, I couldn't get them in very well because it doesn't sit in there very well. And I'll be darned if on the inside of this guy there's actually two pins, two rings. One is the center pin, that's the normal 1.5 volt output. Well, what's that other pin? 
Well, that's pretty cool. And it appears that it matches the charger, so... Let's go ahead and check the voltage coming out of that. I'll be darned, look at that. 4.16, that's your 4.2 volts charging. So, turn this back on and get a quick reading here. If I can. Look at that, 4.3. That's my 4.2. So, how about that? It appears that that inside pen matches this inside pen. And now, we're charging. Isn't that interesting? So if you look down in there, see if I can get a really good close-up. You can see that that pin is not actually touching, unplug it. That pin's not actually touching anything, it's just floating in there. It's that ring inside of there is, which is making the contact. Oh, if I get it in there right. Bit of a hard thing to get in and out. And the bad thing is, is when I put the first one in, I put it in wrong, I ripped the soda coating off right here. You can see in this battery, I ripped the coating off and it actually covered up the connection points and it wouldn't work. It took me a minute to figure it out. Let me try unplugging it, plugging it back in, there we go. So yes indeed, these are actually 1.5 volt output batteries, but indeed if we check the inner pin, we get our normal lithium ion battery. So that's how they're doing that. They've got a, I would tear one of these apart, but they're kind of expensive. But inside here, there's a tiny little bit of circuitry, or hopefully there's circuitry, not just a silly resistor. There's some circuitry in there, and that actually puts out the 1.5 volt. So very interesting, unique uh, way of actually using 3.5 volts or 3.7 volts down to 1.5 volts and uh, I don't know why that's probably because of my battery backup it's acting kind of funny but you got to double check it's actually making contact because I know I had a tiny bit of problem last time that one actually might be fully charged when they're fully charged they go out so I presume that one's probably fully charged anyway they did all charge earlier I checked them so Pretty cool and very interesting, uh, interesting little batteries. I like how they've actually got milliwatt or amp hour ratings on the 3.7 volt, and milliwatt ratings on the uh, 1.5 volt, milli, milliwatt hours, excuse me, in amp hours. So, okay, well that's it. Just wanted to show you that. All right, well this was not a product review. However, I thought you would quite thoroughly enjoy the design how the charger was designed and how the batteries are designed to fit in these chargers and how they charge at 3 point, uh, well 4.2 volts but operate at 1.5 volt. So that's it. God bless you guys. Just thought I'd, uh, I just thought I'd share that with you. I found it really cool. I did have to buy these. This is not a product review by the way. Alright. Have a good day. God bless. Peace out.